Hello, y'all. It's 12.34 p.m. Um, I left enough, t I mean, I have enough time left <clears throat> to, uh, to do like a five-minute video before work. So, I can't film at the school or near the school for the protection and safety of the kids, <clears throat> you know, unless I'm in a room by myself and nobody's in the building. And I, you know, I try to record like, you, you know, not record in certain places, you know, so I'm still at my motel room at the moment. <clears throat> and last night, I can't put it on YouTube. Well, maybe I could. But um there was some perp that um was sitting like he was in a nice brand new brand new uh Toyota Corolla and he was waiting for me with, with his bright lights on. He was waiting for me and then I couldn't catch him and um then he went and parked by the visitor spot. And just was blaring his music for a good 20 minutes. And I, you know, trying to be cautious over here too. Because it seems like if I expose the gang stalking where I live at or work at. Or, you know, a motel or a hotel where I'm staying at. You know, there's a doggone chance that I can get banned for doing that you know, or fired from my job or something like that. And I don't know if it would be a worse consequence, the fact that, you know, the school campus, so I can't film what the perps are doing, blending in with the college student. I mean, I'm sorry, the um high school or middle school students. They, they blend in with the students Right when um, they blend in with the students. And, and, you know, I know they're perps because when I walk out of a building, they hurry up and drive off like as if they're suspicious or, or think hurrying up, thinking, acting like as if, act guilty. You know, act guilty like they know they're going to get caught or something. Oh, let me hurry up before she gets out her camera. And they hurry up and drive off like a bat, of hell, bat out of hell with no kids in the car. Or... You know, they'll just sit there and wait for me while I'm walking with my supervisor or by myself to walk from cleaning one bathroom to another. It just makes me feel icky, irky, and uncomfortable. You know, for, for random strangers to be just watching me all the time. And they think they have the authority to do this and they glorify themselves as righteous people and make it like everything I do or say is just wrong and need to be, I need to be controlled and watched. But for many years, as long as I didn't have my family or the mental health system to deal with, foster or biological family and a mental health system to deal with, I didn't have to worry about those phrases, you know, trying to seek pity, trying to get attention, you know, um, Attention seeking and mention that word behavior. I didn't have to worry about, you know, take your medicine. You know, anybody from my past, they use those trigger phrases to make me mad. You know, that I need my medication or I need to be locked up in a mental institution or talk about my behavior, my inappropriate be or unacceptable behavior and stuff. But the way they treat me, it's like it. It's, it does not line up with God's word in the Bible themselves. So how would you call me a hypocrite when you, the things that you do don't line up with the Bible? You, you know, so um, it's like I, I, I did not have to worry about, you know, being lectured about my behavior. Like by narcissistic bullies lecture me about bad behavior. Come on. And then targeting individuals, y'all supposed to be targeted and y'all treating me the same way. But one thing, it seems like there's a lot of fighting in the targeted individual community. And 
you know, even other amongst other people too. It doesn't have to be just me. And I, I mean, I can't believe it. I just wish it would end. That targeting individuals fighting each other, hating each other, and distrusting each other worse than they do of their own. They got more respect. I don't understand that logic. When you're supposed to be a targeted individual and you hate other targets worse than the perps and you call another target a perp. I don't get, and you're still being targeted yourself. I don't get that logic. So, um, one thing before I go is after my, after I, um, brush my teeth with that solution that I made, I was able to get me some sleep from, um, you know, the pain didn't go away instantly, but I was able to get my, get me some sleep. And then the pain went away, was gone when I woke up. So, um, and I did, I just woke up for good, like got out of bed and everything at 12, 10 PM. You know, I think I went to, went finally was able to get to bed at like after sometime after three o'clock or, you know, sometime after two thirty or three o'clock. So let me go off to work for now. And I'll see y'all.